Alright, so yeah. Carrying on the madness that's going on yeah. in the movie world right now. Um, we're gonna be jumping into a trailer review. And that review is for the upcoming next installment within the John Wick franchise. And that is Ballerina Starling, starring Anna Diarmas as the you know assassin in question. And of course we've got to have a Keanu Reeves cameo, which they've already given away in the trailer, but fuck it, Keanu Reeves is in the movie as well. And it's a taste place between John Wick 3 and John Wick 4. Bruv, how did you feel about the trailer for Anna de Armas' Ballerina? Seen it all before. Whoa. And... Oh, you know, man. Just say it. Bruv, why are they pushing Anna de Armas so much, man? Why is she in everything? I mean, I'm not even saying she's a bad actress, because she's not. She's not. But I just don't believe that she can punch men up. I just can't. I've never believed okay, it. Okay, okay. Even when she was in The Grey Man. The Grey Man. Even when she was it, in right. freaking, um, I don't know how she became a Bond girl so quickly. She was a Bond girl as well, right? Like, bruv, who the hell did she fuck to get yeah. all this work, bruv? I'm not even bullshitting because she come out of nowhere. No one's rise in Hollywood has yeah. been as fast as hers. Yeah, yeah. No one's. Male or female. Yeah. She's, She's very been thrust straight into the top levels quick, out very, of very, nowhere. Very quick rise with absolutely no box office hits at all. Like, <laughs> let's, 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 let's just keep it real. Like, <laughs> the box office tr track record is horrendous, as far as I know. She was in Knives Out, but that doesn't count because on that's ensemble an ensemble cast. cast and that's Daniel Craig's movie. Yeah, basically. yeah. But she's kind of the co-lead of that. And that too, even the fact that she got that role as well. Fam, she got that. She got the Oscar nomination for the Monroe. She got Marilyn Monroe movie. She got the James oh, she, Bond. She, English ain't even first language and she got to play Monroe. Oh, someone needs to explain that. She ain't even look that man anymore. No! So, you know, sometimes you can say, no, she really, no, she doesn't do it. Do you know... <laughs> I always thought, and this is bad to say, but it's just this, I don't care. The fact that she got that role lets me know what goes on in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way they did a casting call for that movie and, she and said, out? she's the best. Yeah, she came there's out no top. way, there's no way. Yeah. There's yeah, no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She gave Hina to get that role. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I've never sat through that movie, but I suppose oh, I never was. some subjectified and stuff and all that. Yeah, objectified by the, the director. I heard the director yeah, was yeah. obsessed with her. I'm obsessed, and maybe that is it. Um, I think... I don't even want to diss her, and I hate you to say it, but it's the truth. I'm sorry, it's, I'm listening. I told I, I the truth, this is how I feel. Mm. You don't have to agree with me. Yeah. But I'm sorry. I don't, I just, I don't believe her. She needs more people. I'm sorry. No, she fair needs this, more people. Fair fair this. I, just, I just don't get the push, the Anna mm. push. She's it's, a mediocre she's actress the same, at best. She's getting the Sam Webber and Colin Farrell treatment. Yes. Definitely. She def she's getting that package. She's paid for that package. Is she um, signed to, you know what? I know what it is. She's signed to with William Morris or something. Probably. Or she, or Ari Emanuel is mm. like, she's related to him or. Sam. Yes, some, There's some type of connection. Yeah. There's some type of connection, seriously, because again, as you said, her rise, she's accomplished more things in her five, six year career than a lot of people have in 10, 15 years. So, Easily. Yeah, I would definitely agree. And even her getting this, again, I don't mean to be rude, but there's many other women in Hollywood that could have pulled this off. Why are we drawing for her? Um, she looks fine passable in, in the trailer and it was, bro, it was fine thing, bro, let's be um, she, she tiny herself but she's, she's very Amanda. very slim yeah. for this role yeah very slim like again i'm not expecting an amazonian woman no but, i'm just um, saying but at least like, angelina jolie or some shit. angelina jolie when she was younger i mean not now but even her angelina jolie and salt she knew yeah. that she could punch her people yeah um it's unfair comparison but even gal gadot in wonder woman with she looked like she could punch skinny up people. Even though she's skinny, she still looked like she could handle man. Yeah. But Anna de Marmis, I'm not sure. And I think, again, John Wick 4, <sighs> we've killed Keanu, but then we've got to bring him back because then no one else is going to watch this movie <laughs> unless we know exactly. Keanu's in it. So exactly. let's ruin the cameo in the trailer and say, yes, he's back, blah, 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 blah. blah. We've seen his scene and I'm, I'm really hoping, but I'm, I've got a feeling he's gonna come off that train as he does in the trailer, speak to her, give her some advice, maybe bust maybe one shot at someone, and then it's gonna be it. 